Today we are going to be talking about the level 50 grind in Division 2. This is something that I was alerted to months ago before Warlords of New York even came out and I share this with some of you guys in my community tab. I was told that Massive is going to be following Bungie's footsteps in the way that they are going to be doing things starting with Warlords of New York. They will be giving you a major expansion every year then followed by 4-5 to five seasons of content. Then they will follow up with the next major DLC. Now if they are following Bungie's footsteps to the letter, then Division 3 would be a major DLC split into multiple parts, but then knowing Ubisoft, they will likely make it a separate game because it will allow them to charge you 70 bucks, 100 bucks, because it's going to be a next gen game and they need that next gen money. Now I am mentioning this now because Warlords of New York, the episode is almost over and the next chapter of the lore is about to begin. There are lots of people still wondering if they should buy Warlords at this point into the whole DLC. Without Warlords though, you are going to be missing more than 70% of what the game has to offer, you're going to be missing an entire player base that is segregated away from you and a whole new set of playstyle that you haven't experienced at all. So if there is a good time to buy this DLC, then Season 3 starting tomorrow will be the best time to buy Warlords because you will also get a free season with it. If you don't buy then, then I suggest that you don't buy it at all and wait till the next major DLC to see what that has to offer. The reason why I'm saying this is because chances are they might require you to own Warlords before you are even able to enjoy or buy the new one, which is going to be a deal breaker, but you just want to be aware of those things. We don't know yet, but you have to be cautious. And if it happens that you will not need Warlords of New York to own the new DLC, then you can just skip Warlords and buy the new one because at that time, you already know what Warlords has to offer. Also, when a sequel or a new DLC drops in Division 2 or with any Ubisoft game, they tend to lower the prices of the old item. So that is going to be something that you want to keep your eyes on. But I will guarantee you one thing, they will never make those DLCs free. There are expansions in Division 1 right now that still requires a lot of money 3-4 to four years later. So you know that they might make the game free to play, but they will still charge you for the DLC. Now once again, it is important to be aware of these things so you're able to either save your money for another game or wait for the next major DLC. With that said, Title Update 11 is going to be arriving tomorrow. It is going to be a 7 gig to 8 gig update, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.